Only a fraction of people who test positive for COVID-19 end up in the hospital. Um, once you see the data, there's no, there's no turning back from being concerned. But even if a case is not severe, researchers worry how the virus will impact someone's health in the long term. It's a virus that does damage to every part of the body. Natalie Lambert is an associate research professor at the IU School of Medicine. She collected surveys from more than 5,500 people around the globe to learn what symptoms they experienced after testing positive for COVID-19. We need to make sure people understand that there's some much bigger risk than just being sick for a couple of weeks. So far, the data shows fatigue, headache, and shortness of breath were the top three symptoms. Not surprising. But look at this. 52% of respondents said they had difficulty concentrating or focusing. 38% had memory problems. Participants reported more than 100 symptoms. There were definitely a lot of heart problems that people reported. So things like heart palpitations, when they stand up having a racing heartbeat, Patients are dealing with pain uh, after discharge, taking care of themselves, physical problems with uh, immobility. Dr. Bobber Khan works in the intensive care unit at Indianapolis hospitals. He says the rates of delirium among patients admitted to the ICU are up to 80%, double the amount historically. I'm worried that these patients will have cognition problems which could persist for a long time. A race to study a variety of cases so they can discover the best ways to help. We can work with, um, you know, both, um, you know, like medical doctors, but also pharmaceutical companies to try to develop medical therapies that can treat these long-term symptoms. In Indianapolis, I'm Kelly Rinke, Fox 59 News.